John is going to talk about his new training called Ecom Subscription Pro. Now, when I realized what this training does, I realized that it's a really unique spin on Ecom. You know, there have been a lot of Ecom products that have come out, but this is actually completely different. It's not some new Shopify training. Uh, thank you. So, John, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. I really appreciate it. No, it's, it's great to be here, Brett. Thanks. So can we start off with, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? How, you know, what, what have you done in the past? How you've got to, you know, what you're about to teach us? Sure. Uh, well, I've, uh, I've been in e-com for pretty much 14, 15 years, since about 2001. Um, pretty much, uh, I bounced around in my early years. I wanted to be a, a, a singer in a band. That's what I was. I was a rock and roller. That was my dream. Uh, and then my son was born, and that kind of crushed that dream. <laughs> in reality, game. yeah, in reality, reality done that I had to do something. I didn't have any qualifications. I dropped out of school and all that kind of stuff. So, um, in about two thousand, the, the only option to me was uh, trying to sell things door to door, which I tried and, and didn't really work out, uh, or get online, which was kind of what I wanted to do. Uh, and I went straight to ecom uh, from there because I figured I didn't realize you could sell anything else. Really, it was that was kind of what it was. And I tried. Pretty much everything, standalone sites. I tried some Amazon. Uh, I tried eBay. I did okay. You know, I made it a living. Never really struck it like what you call rich until I'd been doing it for maybe ten years. Well, you know, that's interesting. You said like I made a living, but I never really struck it rich. Uh, you know, something people don't realize a lot is that there's a difference between living and existing. Oh yeah. You know, so I mean, you can you can exist doing lots of things, but you can really you can only live doing some things. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And it took me. It was ten years. You know, some some months were great. Other months it was like you know going down the back of the couch looking for the coins. Um, and then I hit upon this subscription thing, and literally once I'd done that, it was like six weeks, and we went from like down here to way up here. It was like it was that quick. It was a huge leap. Uh, you actually just kind of gave a little bit away. I was going to ask you to explain exactly what this training teaches, but I, you just touched on it a little bit, but maybe not even realizing it is this is e -com where you're selling physical products, right? Exactly. But it's not like the traditional e -com that that people have been teaching lately. It's not setting up a, a, a web store and, you know, shipping products and, you know, taking orders. It's subscription Ecom, where people get a uh, consumable product that they use over and over and over again. Yeah, that's exactly it, and that's that's where it's different. I tried to do all that store stuff where I had like multiple items, uh, and it never really worked for me. I could never get it to pay big enough. Now, what I realized what this was that it was subscription physical products. The very first thing that popped in my mind because they got a really cool sales video is DollarShaveClub.com. Yes, great video, isn't it? I love it. And the the whole company is just set up awesomely. It's it's cool. It's it's clever. It makes you want to buy it. Uh, it's a great, great. I think I think they got valued at six hundred million dollars recently. Yeah, and that's exactly like like that's the exact concept. It's I need razors every week. I need to get razors, and if I sign up for DollarShave.com, they come to my door for me. I don't have to go get them. I don't have to look for them. I don't have to find them. And apparently, you can get a better price at them as well. Uh, another thing that pops into my head is uh, my cousin is a cigar aficionado and he's in a cigar of the month club and he gets like three cigars once a month and he pays like 60 bucks a month for that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And this, there is so many different angles you can take this down. I mean, I specialized pretty much because where I first started out uh, trying to do stores and stuff, it was in health and beauty products. I was doing supplements and face creams and teeth whitening products, that kind of thing. Um, and that's where I kind of started at, and it just kept on. You know, I, I actually started thinking about that too. I, I like, you know, I, I got an entrepreneur's mindset. So as soon as I like realized what this is, I started thinking to myself in my head, like, man, what do I use over and over again? I can start selling to people regularly. And that's the first thing that popped into my head is like, well, I, I, I use soap and I use, you know, uh, cologne and I use, you know, hygienic products. And I, that's that started popping into my head as well. Uh, but you don't you don't necessarily use those kinds of products. You use some other kinds as well, right? I I, I do. Uh, yeah, mainly mine is in uh, muscle and uh, male muscle and diet is my two biggest markets. So are you selling like diet pills or? Yeah, I mean I have done. It's a little bit less on the diet. To be honest, the male muscle kind of market exploded on us. So we just went where where the demand was um, uh, and kind of kept down that route. Rather than, I mean, the, the diet pills were always good, 
but uh, the male muscle exploded, so we just concentrated there. You know, actually, you said diet. That's another thing that pops into my head that uses this model. Uh, Weight Watchers, don't they have like a meal thing where you get meals regularly over as well? Yeah, yeah. There's a whole industry built around sending meals through the mail. Uh, was never my idea. It, it was a little bit too bulky for, for, for what we wanted to do. But yeah, there's a whole plan around it. Anything that you know is going to disappear over a period of time is perfect for this training. Yeah, something that – and you know what? The great thing about it is people are going to buy a lot of this stuff anyway. Yeah. So like this makes it easier. It just comes to them regularly. Yeah, exactly. It, it becomes a customer-driven business because the longer that you can keep your customers, the more money you make. You know, you had said that you don't do anything in the digital product world, that you're all, you've been e-com from the beginning, where I'm actually the opposite. Um, I, I did digital because before I got online, I was a software developer. So that was just my natural thing was to get into selling software. Sure. Um, but the software products that I have, some of the most profitable ones I ever have, uh, weren't the ones that had big, huge launches. They're the ones that are paying me monthly. And I do have a few that have paid me monthly over and over because I create them and they just keep paying me over and over again and this is the same thing kind of but with physical you you capture that customer and you have I'm assuming that you have the auto ship to them right like exactly and they just get keep getting paid you just keep getting paid over and over and over again I've got guys that have been paying me you know for software for two years and yeah. they just keep getting it in and this in this way like Dollar Shave Club they've got guys probably that just get razors every month and just they collect their payments yeah, exactly. And the, the lovely thing about it, and this is the big benefit of the, the whole system, is you only pay for those orders. You only pay for to get those customers once. After that, they're free. And you, it's like virtually pure profit. So can you show us one of your one of your sites or one of the things that you do? Yeah, let me let me just pull one up. Um, okay, so this is just what, what this is actually our biggest selling male muscle products. Uh, we do other ones for, obviously, uh, we also do some specialist mobile stuff. And I do a lot of consulting on this kind of work now as well. But this is, this is kind of our biggest seller right now. And uh, let me just scroll down. So, and this is kind of the um, the exact layout that I, I, I teach as well because it's the one that over the years I've worked out gives us just the highest conversions. And it doesn't really matter what the images are or what the, the copy is. It's the basic layout that works, where you put the buttons, where you put the sign-up box, where you put the, you know, the trigger points. Uh, and that just works with every product we've ever done. It's like a formula. Okay. And you put it now, in. you know, the, I got to be honest with you. The first question that pops into my head when I'm thinking about this, and it's the first, like, like doubt that I would have and that a lot of other people are probably going to have, is where are we going to get these products? Like, like, do you make these things? Like, do you make these this this supplement here? Well, I mean, nowadays, let me just come back so I can see who I'm talking to here. So, yeah, uh, now we make them. When we first started out, no, we didn't. Um, when we first started out, we started out white labeling. And literally, we were buying like five and ten. And then we'd, we, you know, we'd get the label designed and stuck on somebody's generic product. Um, and then we started getting bigger and growing. And then we started having things made to our own specification. And then eventually, we actually started just custom making our own things. Um, but this is something that you don't even have to touch. I mean... Uh, I was talking to a guy today that wanted to do this for drop shipping, and you could do it with drop shipping if you've got uh, if you've got a guy who's really good and is is good on delivery, and you can trust them. Then drop shipping is no problem at all to do this model with. But it is something that you could just order yourself and then you know ship yourself as well, or you could drop ship it. But you can basically you outsource these the product creation, and then at, at some point you get to the level where you're at, where you say, hey, why don't we cut out that guy? and just make this ourselves, you know, but to begin with, you can outsource it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And to be honest, I still do outsource all the fulfillment side of it. All we do is we manufacture it, ship it to a, a fulfillment house and let them take care of it. Uh, simply because I don't want the headache of warehousing it. Okay. All right, so so if I was gonna do that, if I was gonna pick a, a I'm assuming that the well, some of the goals are to find a small, easy to ship product, right? I mean, it's, yep. dollar, it's dollar Shave Club, not uh, Dollar Car Battery Club. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, another good example that I think about is net, the way Netflix started off. You know, yeah, exactly. I, I just, you know, I'm sitting here and I just keep thinking, this is actually a business model that's been successful and that's been right in front of our faces for a long time. Yep. That I can't believe that like nobody ever 
taught this before because it's right there. There's so many people when you think about it, Netflix, Dollar Shave Club, you know, the meal places, the, the Weight Watch, the magazine, every magazine subscription. You know, remember the uh, the uh, uh, DVD of the month and stuff. There are just there are tons of this. This is yep. You're probably as old as I am, Brett, in that we, we can both probably remember a time when we used to be uh, used to buy uh, music and you used to be able to buy it in a, on a monthly club and you used to get a choice of CDs that you could get delivered through the mail to yourself. Yeah, that's what I was talking yeah. about. I can't remember the name of the, the company that did that, but you used to get, yeah, you used to get CDs and stuff every month. You signed up yeah. for a subscription. You know, this this model is actually, you know, it's not a, you know, I mean, nothing against like what you're teaching, but it's not a new fangled thing. This is actually a very proven business model you're just taking it to the internet now exactly that's 100 percent true I, you know there's nothing new under the sun and we we're just taking something that was tried and tested somewhere else and we're saying let's use the internet as the as, as the you know as effective the new magazine where people see it and sign up yeah that's actually pretty cool because it's kind of like what i do you know for the longest i mean people sold software before i got into the software business but they used to put it on discs you know and you used to go to yeah. the store and you would buy the software and then somebody said, hey, you know what? Why don't we just cut out that disc and cut out the store and do it online and make twice as much money, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly the point. It's uh, it, it's a tried and, and tested business model. It really is. So if, if I was going to do that, though, what, what would I need to get going? Like how, how much of a financial investment? Do I got to buy... 20,000 of this product and and you know rent some space somewhere to stock shelves up to the <laughs> ceiling or can I start off so can no. I get 10 of the product you can definitely do that you can go to, to white label companies by five by ten have them labeled exactly as you want them uh, I mean you're probably at that level you're too small to even talk to a fulfillment house so you're gonna want to ship them yourself simply because it's just you're not at the level to speak to somebody to do that yet but very soon you will be i mean that it scales quick that's the thing with it uh so you can get those you just you know and it, if they're if you're mailing them and they're small and they're light they're really big enough to just sit in the corner of a desk when you first start out it, it's not that big of an investment uh and then you've you've pretty much just got um what do you have to show mailing cost really and i suppose the cost of driving uh driving your orders that's it yeah, and of course, though that stuff is all included. And if you can outsource this stuff, I mean, you can get you can get products pretty cheaply, um, you know. And and you're I can see what you're saying about it being small. Like I, I have a closet. You can't see it. It's right over there. I I could have a box of supplements in that closet, or a box of razors, or a box of DVDs, or a box of any small item sitting right in there, out of the way. You would never even wouldn't even affect me, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's, a, you know, it's the one thing that used to be a really big barrier to entry to this whole market, it was um, you had to build your own standalone system. And that was the big barrier to entry because it cost a lot of money. And most people don't want to go along doing that. But, you know, things have moved along now. You know, we have got, you know, all these crazy uh, web page builders that are, you know, really cheap to be able to build your own sites. Uh, so it, it's really the ideal opportunity for, for people to be able to get in the market without having that huge barrier to entry. Yeah, well, yeah, hosting is really cheap. You can get hosting for 12 bucks a month. You can get a domain for $10. There's tons of page builders. And as a matter of fact, a, a lot of the people watching this probably have one of mine. <laughs> so they have page builders to build <laughs> my pages. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can source products from China directly. It used to be that... You know, if you wanted to source a product from China, that means you got into an airplane and flew to China <laughs> and you had a tour of the exactly. factory. But now you don't do that anymore. Now you go online, you buy as much as you want right from the factory, you know. And that's exactly. You go to AliExpress, you get a, you get a few bottles of things through and you're, you're up and ready to roll. All right. So is there anything that we didn't cover? Is there anything that we missed? Uh, no, pretty much. I, th I think we've got it all. That's pretty much all the front end's about. You know, I'll be honest with you. I, I thought this was pretty cool, and that's why I asked to talk to you. But as we're talking, like, I just keep all these things just keep popping into my head of like people that are doing this kind of stuff, and like, I, I want to check out the training some more. So I'm gonna cut this kind of quick. I'm gonna go check out the training some more, and uh, good luck on your launch. Oh, awesome, Brett. Thanks very much. All right, yeah, have a good one, John. You too. Mate. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys. So here I am. I'm logged into the Ecom Subscription Pro members area. Now, right from the door, I'm going to be totally upfront. There are a couple of things that I don't like about this training. As a matter of fact, it's not really the training that I don't like. It's some of the things in the members area that I don't like. The first thing that I don't particularly care for is the fact that the modules 
are named module one, module two, module three. Uh, I've said this many times before when different training products that I've reviewed, it makes sense to give modules relevant names so that way it's very easy to find a particular video that you want to revisit. Uh, another thing is the training videos, they don't have any names. So like right now I'm in module one and I'm looking at video one. Uh, I don't care for that at all. I think the trainings need to have a name describing what's inside of the video. I think the modules need to have relevant names describing what that module covers. And I, I just don't like the way they name them at all. I, I think that's uh, pretty inefficient for the user. Uh, if you want to come back and find a new video, you're going to have to like, oh, where is it? Was it module four, video seven? Uh, you know, it make more sense just to give them names. I, I don't know why they did that. Another thing is my personal pet peeve, which is a intro video on every one of the trainings. So if I go ahead and click on here, it shows this little intro video. And as anybody who has ever seen any of my product reviews before knows, uh, I find those intro videos completely a waste of time. I, I don't want to watch that intro video every single time I, I watch a training. I don't see any reason why it needs to be there. I know that I'm watching an Ecom Subscription Pro video because I'm logged in to Ecom Subscription Pro. I don't need you to keep telling me that over and over again and wasting 12 seconds of my life to tell me that. Now, despite those things, though, the training videos, the actual quality of the content is excellent. First of all, the video quality is really good. They're clear, they're crisp, it's easy to see what's going on, and it's easy to hear what's going on. But more importantly, the quality of the information that John is giving is very good. John seems to be a natural teacher. When I was watching the videos, I noticed that he explains in great detail what you need to know, but at the same time, he doesn't go into like tantrums, he doesn't fill in with a lot of fluff, he just gives you the information that you need presented very well and very clearly. I think John has found a second talent in the fact that he is a good teacher. One thing I will say, though, is that if you're thinking that you're going to pick this up and, you know, you know, maybe just play around with it, I don't know if that's for you. This is for somebody that actually wants to build a real business. And that's what John is teaching in this training. He's teaching you how to build a real business. And, you know, personally, I think you may have been able to tell from when I was talking to John, as I'm thinking more and more about this concept, I'm getting more and more excited about it. I'm realizing that it's not a new concept. It's a proven concept. It's a concept that business has have been using for a long time. Uh, Cigar of the Month, Netflix, where you get DVDs. A DVD is a consumable product. Sure, you don't like eat your DVD, but you watch the DVD, you watch the movie, and then you want more. You want to consume more. So Netflix is a perfect example. The same thing with CDs. You get tired of hearing the same CD over and over again. Magazines, uh, meals, the meals where they were sending you the diet meals. Uh, you know, there's so many Dollar Shave Club. There's just so many products that are already using this business model that, you know, it's not a newfangled thing. It is a proven model that we know works because a lot of big name companies are using it. Also, as I said, I can see a lot of advantages to this business model. First of all, you don't need to have 50,000 different products like you would with an e-store. When you know you have an e-store, you need to have a whole bunch of products. But with this business model, since you're selling people a consumable product that they are going to be automatically getting over and over again because they're in a subscription, you really only need like one or two or maybe three products at most to sell because once you acquire a customer, they consume that product and then they need more it's not like you acquire a customer they buy a necklace off you or something and then you have to try to get them to buy another necklace or a ring or something this way they're consuming the product so this allows you to run a e-com business without having a whole bunch of different products you only need a couple maybe even just one or two also, this lends itself very well to long-term income. I mean, if I'm selling a ring, there's no guarantee that that person is going to want to buy another ring next month. However, if I sell a consumable product via a subscription, I know that they're going to use it. I, they wanted it in the first place. I know that they're going to need more, and I already have them subscribed. So it lends itself to a long-term a reoccurring revenue as opposed to just constantly trying to get new customers over and over again. 
So to just come out and say it, the more I think about this, the more I get excited about this. This is going to be something that is really good for somebody who is looking to start an actual business to consider investing in. There are very few products that get me excited. There are very few products where I look at them and I say, wow, I can't believe that like nobody thought of this before, that nobody was teaching this or that nobody was doing this before. But this is one that I really think that should have been taught years ago because this is a really really good idea it's a proven business model and it generates monthly reoccurring payments without needing to constantly get new sales over and over again because it's a subscription model i love this product and i think it's going to be well worth investing in if you're serious about starting a real business okay guys thank you and enjoy